Alrighty, Captain Dave here, your unofficial El Cheapo Sheepshead Tournament correspondent. There's the boat ramp, and it is a nightmare. Alright, well, guess what I got? I got a one o'clock river cruise. Uh, one to four a little river cruise and uh, happens to be a man from Lacombe, Louisiana just where I'd love to go I'd love to be in Lacombe but it's about 9 o'clock 9.15 right now the Coasties are out harassing every single boat on top of it being a tournament on top of it being windy, on top of it looked like it's good about the rain. But from one to four, we're going to be doing a little river cruise for this uh, for this guy. I figured better do a little river cruise than fishing. Why fish? You know, kind of nasty weather. Everywhere I want to be is probably going to be covered up with people. So. We'll see what the deal is. I'm putting the boat in just so I can get a parking spot and I'm going to do a little fishing myself. I'm going to pull over here. I'm going to what I call the uh, tablespoon spot. So it takes you a tablespoon of fuel to go from the boat ramp to the other side of the river. And uh, I'm going to just chuck out some baits and wait her out until 1230. Double header on whiting. I'll take them all day long. Fish fry, fish fry, fish fry. Double header on whitelings. Little brownie whitelings. Double header. I mean a double header on Whitelands. Must have come through in a wave because it was two bites exactly at the same time. And I am really surprised. I had coasties all around me. And didn't get harassed. Usually I'm like a freaking magnet for the coasties. Alright. Big old yellow mouth. Well, he's not that big. Yellow mouth and whiting. That's what this place is famous for. Well, every once in a while, I mean, back in the day, boy, did we used to bust the drum in here. But that was back when it was actually cold in November. All right, that's what I expected to get here, mostly. I was in the middle of the cast when that one bit. Can't beat the old double rig. The old Pat the Dave double rig. Well, I'm going to make a video and show you, show you the uh, procurement of my shark tackle. Man, man, is it wicked! I can't wait to hook some studs. I see a lot of people fishing. Um, there was just some guys over here fishing the range marker, which is right next to me. That range marker gets the absolute, you know, gets a beating. I don't know why anybody would even want to think they're going to catch a giant sheep's head. 
isn't that what we're fishing for here? Giant sheep's head. Then you ought to be going to a giant sheep's head spot. And those, a giant sheep's head spot is a place that don't get the crap beat out. Well, if I didn't say it earlier, this is like the, what, 14th annual or 12th annual El Cheapo Sheep's Head tournament going on today from the uh, Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club, my fishing club. I help sponsor. I give away a uh, gift certificate every year that nobody ever seems to take advantage of, which okay with me, you know. I give away the gift certificates if you don't want to take advantage of it. So, them, uh, all them sheep herders must not want to go catch them themselves a gator trout. Alright, well, let's see if I can get some more. Alright, time to make a move. Just a couple here. I gotta get out in a little deeper water, I think. I think. Sunshine. I'll tell you, sometimes I just enjoy coming out and throwing some shrimp on the bottom. It's just really easy. Just kick back. You know, I take my float rig fishing so seriously that it eats me alive sometimes. Not chewing, just really gets to me. And every once in a while, if I just come out here and do this, it's just plain old relaxing. Just come out, relax, throw some baits on the bottom, and kick back. Probably a stingray. Good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish, all right. Well, it tells me one thing. The structure I was getting hung up in behind the boat is some good structure because here's a toad. These dudes don't live on the sand. A day without a toad is like a day without sunshine. And we got some sunshine finally. Alright. Day without a toad is like a day without sunshine. Come on! structure behind the boat. These four ounce banks were getting stuck at the bottom. So I go to one of Dave's custom made Annie Fowl slip sinking slide across the bottom sinkers instead. See? Everybody wants to know where do you get them sinkers? Where do you, where do you get those rigs? 
Think, people, think. Do it yourself. Make up your own rigs. Think outside the box. Just don't buy everything. I make a ton of stuff. Well, we're losing the current. Slack tide. Here it comes. Here comes a barge. A dredge and a tug pointing right at me. I hope he can turn. Alrighty, tide turned, and I'm still picking up some whiting. Just got my biggest whiting. So, uh, anything to make a little fish fry, that's for damn sure. I only got about an hour left, and I gotta go pick up Sam, I think. There, about 12.31 o'clock, I gotta pick up Sam from Louisiana. Let's go see what the deal is here with the world's largest sheep's head tournament. With all these, you know, they gotta show off the fancy boats up here. <laughs> Mr. Darner. David, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? How are you, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh my god, I could buy six of my boat for what this thing costs. Hell, oh, buddy of mine just thought this boat was 30000 I told him 90 Hello everybody and welcome to the... Uh... El Chipo, 14th annual El Chipo Kingfish Tournament. The weigh station's going to open here in about four and a half minutes, and we got a man with a big fish standing here already. Unfortunately, El, El Chipo Kingfish Tournament. Sheep's Head Tournament. 